Okay, so we're back at our drawer and I have cut the two front to backs uh, a half inch shorter than what I've got inside the cabinet. So they were 15 and a half, I cut them to 15. And then my calculation was 17 and 5 sixteenths. Every drawer, will, every cabinet will be different, okay? So you need to calculate that. You measure, you minus the one and nine sixteenths to accommodate the slides, to accommodate the dados. You're ready to, grow, to do, go. Now, next thing you're gonna do, and this is really important, you're gonna draw a line on the bottom of the left side, and you're gonna write left. You're gonna draw a bottom on the right side. Mark right. You're gonna draw a line on the back. Come up about a half inch on that line doesn't have to be, then you're gonna mark one on the front. Okay. okay, so I've got front, I've got left and right. Next thing you're gonna do, and this is just kind of an easy way of doing it, you are going to have a rabbit dado on the front. So I'm gonna lay my side here on the front and I'm just gonna draw a line, okay? You're gonna go to the right side in the front and you're gonna lay that on there and you're gonna draw another line. Okay. Then you're gonna to go to the back and you're gonna put two boards together. And this is just kind of a easy way of doing this, okay? And I know this gets confusing, but I line those up, okay? I take one away and I'm gonna draw a line on either side. Okay, so that's my dado. I'm gonna go over here to the back of the right side. Okay. I'm gonna lay them both together. I'm gonna take one away. And all is what I'm doing is locating where my daters are gonna go. So here's my front. This line is gonna be the groove for the bottom. Here's my back. My back is gonna fit into a dado right there. Here's my right side, my dado in the back, and then you can see here that I've got my rabbit dado in the front, my rabbit dado in the front, my common dado in the back. This line here, when I lay these all out, this line is gonna be for a plow joint that my bottom fits into. Okay, so we've got that. At this point, I don't need to work with the front or the back. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to locate my dados. This goes all the way back to when we were doing our very first dado and rabbit layout. So I'm going to mark these up. And the only thing I need at this point are my left and my right. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the table saw. Okay. For the table saw, I have the handle underneath there set at about nine o'clock. So that position is going to give me the correct height. The height of this dado needs to be a quarter inch deep. You need to be cutting through the middle of it. Okay. So I've already got this set up. I want to take a look. I've already done a practice cut. The practice cuts should be to where you have a fairly snug fit. This was my practice cut after I set it up a couple times. A few splinters, but I've got it to where it fits in pretty nice. All right. My first is my rabbit dado, and I'm going to slide this over, and I'm going to cover up just a little bit of the blade. I'm gonna go with my rabbit dado in the front. My rabbit dado right there, hold that down. And if I take a piece of scrap, I can see that I don't have it deep enough. So I'm gonna slide this over just a touch. And these need to be flush in the front. There's that one. I'm gonna try it again. And that right there feels perfect, okay? My next thing I'm gonna do is I'll cut the other one. Okay, now this is why you've got the lines. So right now I need to cut that one. If I cut this one, it's all gonna be wrong. So I'm gonna cut my rabbit dado here. Okay, so now I've got my two rabbit dados cut. Now I'm gonna cut my two dados back here. 
And if I move over, if I look at the saw, I'm set at 5 sixteenths. So if I add a half inch to 5 sixteenths, that's gonna give me 13 sixteenths. Lock that down. And you can see that I cut right through where I needed to. You cannot mark up your drawers enough. Okay, now let's go back over and see how good a fit we've got. So right here, I'm gonna take, clean off my splinters. So I needed to have the saw set at 5 sixteenths for the rabbit dado, and I need to have it set at 13 sixteenths for the back dado. Okay, here's my right side. Okay, I'm gonna slide this board in here. Pretty nice fit. I'm gonna slide this board in here. Pretty nice fit. Then I'm gonna have this board in the front. Okay, now, at this point, in pretty good shape, I'm just gonna lift this up and kind of do a trial fit, just kind of look to make sure. And I've got about, oh, enough room for my slides on both sides. So at this point, I'm pretty good, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my bottom plows. That will be in the next video. Once again, green grizzly table saw, 5 sixteenths. You're cutting through the middle veneer. Cut your two rabbit dados on the front. Cut your two common dados on the back. Make sure you got them marked up. Should be pretty successful. But have the pencil mark, have the back, left, right, front, noted.